Hello everybody, this is Brisbane05 Blast here and welcome back to another video of this channel. In this last episode, we've actually versed Brighton and it was an it was actually a very close game. I'm not sure if many of you have watched this, but it was actually a pretty close game. And it, and for some reason Arsenal Arsenal managed to hold on there. But however, this next episode, or should I say this episode, is probably gonna be our biggest test. And yes, we're actually going to be up against Liverpool at Anfield. And it's going to be a very tough contest because last time we actually was against a big side. Well, it was not a big side, it was Aston Villa. But Aston Villa, we sadly could not get the win. We were, like, we were actually offensively, we were like second best in our offensive. And we were mostly doing well in our def defense. But then we conceded a last minute goal. So yeah. But this time, Arsenal... Should really get one. I mean, they did defeated Chelsea, and Chelsea is actually a pretty good side. But that's like the only traditional six side Arsenal will manage manage to beat that side. Apart from that, they didn't do it. They lost to Spurs. They drew to Manchester United. They lost to Man City. They lost to Aston Villa. And Liverpool is actually our last traditional six side that we were actually versing. So this this really should be it because we're actually three points behind the first place Manchester City. So anything can happen here. It can actually it can change the the project the trajectory. So one mistake can change the trajectory. So yeah. But anyway, I really hope you enjoy this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's enjoy this amazing encounter. All right, guys, we're actually going to be up against Liverpool at Anfield. So it's going to be a very interesting game. Yep. Let's take a look at the news and see how things are. Team of the week announced. And as you can see right here in this news, Lenard Bernier makes senior debut. He's only just graduated from the youth team into senior football. But Lenard Bernier put in his first performance today. He's young and full of potential. We've not seen much of him in first team action, but we can soon expect to see a lot more. And yeah, Liverpool versus Arsenal preview. The rivalry between Liverpool and Arsenal is set to continue this week when the teams meet again in another intriguing Premier League encounter. Fans of Liverpool are hoping to see their favourites take the spoils. There's never any love... Love lost against their Arsenal rivals. Given the history between the two clubs, we should be in for a cracking atmosphere at Anfield from the moment the referee blows his whistle for kickoff. So, looks like Liverpool has Virgil van Dijk in. I'm not sure what other sides. Yep, Liverpool are in fifth place. But in the previous episode, we've seen a lot of players who are not happy about happy about the team. And he's actually Scottish. Kane and Taney. Yep. And for some reason, there won't be press conference. So it's kind of actually weird. But as you can see, Liverpool have actually made some interesting signings. Well, they have the same players. Luis Diaz, Gakpo, Mohamed Salah, Thiago, McAllister, Al Musrati is actually a pretty good player. And then they also have David Calabria. Calabria from AC Milan. He's also joined uh, Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk, the skipper. Ibrahima Konate, Andy Robertson, Becker. Alison Becker, Diego Jota, Oyer Zabal from Real Sociedad, Darwin, Joel Matip, Curtis Jones, Smikas, and Kelleher Kwemin. Or Kwemin Kelleher, I would say. Not Kelleher Kwemin, but Kwemin Kelleher. Looks like Liverpool will also go for Gegen Pressing. So they also have their key defensive player, and that is VVD, probably one of the best centre backs in uh, FIFA history. And Mo Salah, probably the best African players, I would say, at this stage. But anyway, looks like there won't be press conference for this one because this is going to be a very interesting game. However, there will be some changes that will be made for this side. Gabriel and Saliba will probably be in it. So there will only be one change. I'm pretty sure every every player are already fit. Yup. Kanan Taney was actually the player that, that is not happy about this squad and he's actually submitting a request for transfer. Let's see if we can try our best to uh, you know deny it because this happened with Gabriel. So you know what? We're actually going to give him chance. Zinchenko's kind of content. Because Taney's already... Uh, plus he's kind of fatigued. He has 67 pace and Taney has 81 pace. He's probably been for a very long time at Arsenal. So it's kind of well deserved for him to actually be in this starting 11. And that's against a very big club. So when he actually put a, put a performance like this, this is going to be interesting. But Liverpool... So like I said initially, two changes are made. Well, that is only when Arsenal are, are up against uh, 
weaker teams, but somehow weaker teams get the job done or somehow draw the game. But this won't be applied for the bigger games because Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, Spurs, Manchester United, if they get a loss, and even if we did make one change, that is acceptable because Arsenal, Liverpool are actually like India and uh, Australia in a way. It's not, I'm not comparing with cricket, but this is exactly how it is. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this one. As we can see, one of the best games, the biggest rivalry here, Liverpool versus Arsenal. Obviously, Liverpool was the team that actually bet us in the 96-97 season. If you have seen Trevor Sports' channel, I don't want to mention his channel, so because you know he doesn't like call, you know, copyrighted, you know, copyrights and such. So yeah. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's enjoy this game. Yes, this is the time. It all comes down to this, even though it's not a final way. But this is one of the greatest rivalries we have seen in Premier League history. That is Liverpool versus Arsenal at Anfield. So we're here at the COP. Pretty interesting here. They have Steven Gerrard as the leader, I would say. So basically, I would say is that Arsenal and Liverpool are actually like, they have a bit of beef, I would say. But the most controversial part is that Liverpool's favourite opponents are Arsenal because at that time when Arsenal was not good, Liverpool had probably one of their best players. They had Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino, and they had Salah. Firmino's favourite opponents was against Arsenal, so Arsenal are looking to get revenge against Liverpool for what Liverpool did to them over the past few years. But speaking of Liverpool, let's take a look at their starting eleven. Alisson Becker's in goal. Ibrahima Konate, Virgil van Dijk, David Calabria, Andy Robertson, Ali Al Almasrati, Thiago McAllister, Gakpo, Salah and Diaz. And then they have Mikel Oyerzabal, the player who actually scored the match-winning goal against England in the Euros, the Euro 2024 finals. But yeah. And I forgot to mention you, as you saw in the top, in the table, Arsenal are kind of above Liverpool, but anything can change here. Aaron Ramsdale's in goal. The only substitution, the only changes I've made was Kane and Tierney because, you know, of game time that he's had. He didn't have the respect because he's been at Arsenal for a very long time than Zinchenko. So, yeah. So, Zinchenko's actually going to be in the substitution. Thank you for attending Anfield. Enjoy the match. And looks like Arsenal will actually be the one to kick off first. Can this be a chance for Arsenal to at least get a win? They did get a win. And their only win in the traditional six times, that's against Chelsea. But can this be the chance? And looks like Arsenal will be starting off first. And they better execute quickly because whenever Liverpool actually have the ball, they just, they're just so ruthless, I would say. But anyway, Kamavinga has it, finds Jesus. Jesus finds Havertz. Back to Jesus. Jesus shoots! And that's an early blow from Liverpool here. Early blow to Liverpool. As Arsenal get their first goal in just one strike. What are we seeing here? Looks like Arsenal are really taking this loss personally. Obviously for the past few years, Liverpool has kind of owned Arsenal. So, Arsenal are really taking this personally. And that's how they actually get the blow on Liverpool, the wood on Liverpool, I would say, with that early goal from Gabriel Jesus. But this is Liverpool. Liverpool are great at comebacks. If you notice that semi-final against Barcelona. And for them, trailing is nothing new. They've always been at this position. They just find their way to get, to get you know, back in the game and also take the lead. But here's Thiago with it. Finds Cody Gakpo. As you can see right here, Liverpool, they just can't find it. You know, they just can't give away the ball until now. Now, here's Martinelli. Still Martinelli. Martinelli finds Gabriel Jesus. Jesus shoots! And what are we seeing here again? Two early goals in just quick succession. Oh, my God. 
Well, I was expecting Liverpool to actually go on over us. But this is insane. Gabriel Jesus just not only scored once but twice. What is Allison doing there? Oh my goodness. Normally Arsenal fans would be happy about this. But not to Alison Becker, not to all the Liverpool fans. They're not happy about this. But looks like Arsenal, they extend their lead in just 8 minutes. Are you serious? I did say that Arsenal are taking this loss personally, but I didn't know they were actually very serious about this. Now here's Kamavinga, he finds Gabriel. It's Gabriel with it. Finds Martinelli. Still Martinelli. Martinelli. And I cannot believe it. Three goals. Three goals, man, in just 15 minutes. What are Liverpool's problem here? I just don't know what, what, are, what are their problems. This is probably glitch in the matrix. But Liverpool did. This is Liverpool's problem. So, because Liverpool had, despite actually seeing Liverpool's uh, starting 11, they've seen some players have actually lost slightly their fitness. But even their fraudulent player has actually scored a goal. Man, Liverpool. Now finally Liverpool get the chance. Thiago finds Luis Diaz. Back to Thiago, but Saka, man, this has gone the other way around. We thought Liverpool were actually the ones cruising, but it's actually the other way around. And I is Jesus. Arsenal are just not giving the ball away. And it's Martinelli. This could be four. I, I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Gabriel Martinelli scores a brace. Jesus scores a brace. Man, everyone is actually very fit. Man, this is like scoring quick goals after one after another. And Gabriel Martinelli gets his brace. This is probably like Arsenal versus Chelsea. We have seen a lot of one-sided games. But this is the derby where it should actually be very close, man. I'm actually going to stop, stop commentating about this because Liverpool, they're, they're not doing well. And they're just giving balls at the places where they should not be giving it away. Martinelli has it. Look at their defense. Just look at their defense. Finds Odegaard. Back passes to Martinelli. Finds Odegaard again. This could be five. I have no words here. Five goals in just quick succession. They're just parting. Arsenal are just partying over Liverpool. They're just not stopping there. They just love to actually take over Liverpool here. They're taking that loss personally. That's why they're just scoring goals after goals. But we know Liverpool's actually going to get vengeance probably at Emirates Stadium for this one. Because Liverpool should... They really do not... They really do not deserve this loss, honestly. Now, now Liverpool has to play smart. They cannot give ball at a very risky situation like this. And even at Arsenal's half, that's actually a very risky situation. Gakpo has it. Still Gakpo. Still Cody Gakpo. Gakpo shoots. And he finally gets one goal back after Arsenal's five non-stop goals. Unanswered goals on Liverpool. Gakpo responds. But can Liverpool somehow bounce back? This is probably one of the one-sided games we've ever seen. I mean, if this was... I mean, this happened with Bayern and Barcelona, so... And I know Bayern has recently owned Barcelona, but Barcelona did find ways to beat Bayern in some, in some games. But yeah. Now here's Kamavinga. Still Vinga. I have a feeling that this is actually going to be a rout. But finally, Liverpool, they finally stepped up. They finally opened their eyes there. After seeing how what happened there. They just give away five goals. And that could have been a chance for Luis Diaz to get one... To get... To do the same what Arsenal did. A few minutes ago. To get, you know, two goals in quick succession. But Luis Diaz might have actually bottled that finish there. I mean, Liverpool are getting the momentum. 
but they just have to not give ball at a very cheap areas. And Ramsdale is actually going to go short because they actually know it's actually it's actually over from there. But this is tactical view, so anything can happen. And here's Kamavinga. Finds Saliba. William Saliba has it. Manages to strut up the ball there. It's Odegaard with it. Still Odegaard. A lot of space, man. Liverpool, they're just giving away easy space. Kamavinga finds Havertz. But what a defense from Calabria. David Calabria here. And McAllister has it. Alexis McAllister finds Calabria. McAllister here. And you know what? The funny part is Thomas Partey is actually going to be joining Liverpool probably in January. So maybe Partey might actually... He might feel bad about this at the same time because he's probably going to join his future club. And that is Liverpool. Maybe Partey could probably try to ease the situation. Try to cheer up Liverpool there. But I don't know what to say here. Now here's McAllister. This could be a chance for Liverpool if the time is on their side. And for some reason it's not. They could have given added time though, but that's all it is given. And we have reached halftime with Arsenal having that kind of dominance over Liverpool. Five goals to one. Six goals in, in, just, in just first half there. And I don't know what to say. I really hope the second half is not that one-sided. I hope it's not like that Bayern Mambo. No, it's actually called Arsenal Mambo. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna put this as a as the title of the video. Arsenal Mambo number five. If this actually remains as a scoreline. Surprisingly. But then again, I don't want to be, uh, you know, be a spoiler, you know, show a spoiler alert. But then again, in some videos, they do kind of spoil, spoil, you know, spoil the video, I would say. Because, you know, in, when they find games which are that exciting, they just couldn't help it. But, and, but just put the, video, the title of the video into their favor rather than just, you know, putting it even, calling it even. But there we have it. Halftime, Arsenal 5, Liverpool 1. And still the games have not been played. This is actually the first game. But man, if Man City actually lose to Brentford, or Aston Villa losing to Sheffield United, surprisingly, this could actually be a chance. It looks like I'll be making some substitution. And only one substitution we'll be making. And it's going to be Kamavinga. You know why? Because I'm actually going to put Part A in. He's probably unhappy about this. He's anyway going to leave Liverpool, so... I mean, I mean, sorry, Arsenal, so... I'm not that surprised. But yeah. Looks like we start the second half. With Liverpool having the ball. They actually needed that, that badly. Because now they've been dominant. They've been like overpowered over Arsenal. And Kamavinga goes off for Thomas Partey. That's the only change Arsenal has made. Because now they, they knew it's actually over from there. Gakpo has it. Still Gakpo. Still Cody Gakpo. Still Gakpo. Still Gakpo. Gakpo finds Al -Mus Ali Musrati. Al Musrati. Al Musrati shoots. But Ramsdell saves this one. Can Liverpool find their way? Even though it's almost done and dusted. Can they actually find their way to at least reduce the gap and probably... You know, reduce their embarrassment and, you know, try to... Not be embarrassed at their own home ground there. Because there's no way Liverpool would be embarrassed at their own home ground. But this has happened with Barcelona, so... So it is what it is, I would say. But here's Ibrahimo Konate. Konate finds Ali Musrati. Al Musrati. Musrati shoots. And he gives one goal back for Liverpool. And sadly, it's not going to be Arsenal Mambo 5. Mambo number 5. It's actually a... A nickname that Bayern has actually put because Bayern has actually owned Arsenal in that nickname, you know, ever since the Champions League. He's kind of owned that nickname ever since, you know, destroying Arsenal, which is my favorite Premier League club. That's what Bayern put their nickname as Mambo number five. But anyway, Liverpool's already got one goal back, but they just need to score back goals after goals after goals there. And that's a well needed defense there that Liverpool has. Finds Mo Salah. This could be a chance for Liverpool to get one goal back. And they do. 
Now Liverpool are actually getting the dominance which they needed. They're somehow trying to reduce the embarrassment there. So I have a feeling that Liverpool are actually going to have that same fate that Arsenal had in the first half. So it's not actually it's not actually that Liverpool's actually getting dominated. It's just that for some reason it's actually face it's actually favoring the offensive side. Salah gets his goal. Martinelli has it. And Liverpool's next match is against Burnley. Company's club. Now here's Martinelli. Still Martinelli. Martinelli could get his hat-trick, which he does. And that to his first ever hat-trick, I would say. But man. Probably one of the high-scoring games we've ever seen. I mean, this has happened with Manchester United versus Arsenal. So I'm not that surprised. It looks like Arsenal will be making some substitution. And Hurry and Timber will actually be the player to be sub subbed in for Gabriel. I was going to say subbed off, but subbed in. But yeah. They think it's actually over because after that first half performance, that you know, bizarre performance from Liverpool. But yeah, that's his hat trick. Martinelli gets his hat trick. Five goals actually in just 13 matches. Man, this player is actually trying to redeem himself after his uh, after what he has done in the previous matches. Now here's Thiago. Still Thiago. Still Thiago. Thiago shoots, but he kind of bottles the finish. That could have been a chance though, honestly. And Martinelli is actually going to take some rest here. Declan Rice will actually be coming on for Martinelli. Because Martinelli has already scored a hat trick. So I won't be. So we won't be seeing Martinelli getting the match ball, but he will get the match ball probably in cut film. I would say. So Jota comes in. And Odegaard has it now. This could be a chance. That was actually a wonderful. Throw from Ramsdale or kick from Ramsdale. Now, as Arsenal are already in the offensive side. But it's a goal kick. But it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, Gabriel Jesus, two goals already here for him. He's on the verge of scoring a hat trick. So if he actually scores the hat trick, he might have he might actually take the match ball. Because even though Martinelli's actually scored the hat trick, he's in the substitution. You know, he's already been subbed off. But Liverpool has it. Diego Jota has it. Finds McAllister. Lexis McAllister has it. Finds Mo Salah. Salah might have lost his pace there, I would say. As Taney has it. Finds Ramsdale. That's a wonderful pass to find Jesus. Jesus finds Declan Rice. And Liverpool are just giving easy space. But what a tackle from Calabria. Finds Allison. Allison finds Mr. Aura himself, Virgil van Dijk. Van Dijk finds Andy Robertson. Another Scottish player finds uh, Kakpo. Kakpo finds Jota. Jota finds Kakpo again. Back to Jota. Jota finds Salah. Finds Al Musrati. Still Al Musrati. Could be a chance for Liverpool to get one back. But he balls the finish. And it's going to be a corner kick. For. Or actually a goal kick for Arsenal. But yeah it looks like Tierney is actually going to be subbed off for Zinchenko. And it's already game done and dusted. As Arsenal's first half performance might have made the difference. Liverpool did score two goals. But it wasn't enough. Unless if they can keep on scoring goals. Maybe to make it interesting. Or, po or potentially drawing the game. We don't know if this, this could happen. This has happened with Arsenal. In scoring quick goals. But I think it's going to go the opposite. Arsenal are on the attack. Zinchenko has it. Zinchenko shoots. And he scores. I'm pretty sure he's going to get his mojo back. Does the knee slide. 
Probably fall following Thierry on Reese type of knee slide, I would say. But yeah, Zinchenko gets his goal. Even though he does not have the pace which which Tierney has, but he still scores the goal, and that might be game done and dusted. I mean, this has happened with Man City and Arsenal, so. And even though that was one sided, that was kind of acceptable here from Arsenal's point of view. Because Ramsdale did that, that uh, probably did that inner Karius, uh, Loris, Loris Karius move, I think. He tried to pass it, but ha straight into Haaland. But here's Hurian Timber with it. Timber finds Havertz. Maybe Jesus can find a way to score a hat trick. Thomas Partey, who's actually going to be joining Liverpool probably in January. So maybe this could be a benefit here for Jurgen Klopp. Havertz has it, finds J Jesus. But what is safe from Allison? Oh, he could have got the hat trick, but Allison this time denied him. A perfect chance that Arsenal would have had. But then again, Arsenal already has the lead. And this could be pivotal for the title chase. Looks like Saka has it. Finds Jesus. But Diego Jota has it. Jota with it. Jota finds uh, Virgil van Dijk. Van Dijk finds Thiago. Thiago finds Darwin Nunes. Dawizito finds Jota. Jota has it. Crosses it in. But Rice has it. And this could be game, set and match. As Arsenal get a big win over Liverpool. A four goal win over Liverpool. Finally what Arsenal needed is a win against a traditional six side. But looks like Martinelli will actually be credited as, as the man of the match here. Obviously, he scored the hat-trick. Even though it's not actually shown it to him. It was a wonderful performance from the Arsenal point of view here. They took that loss personally. And that's how they got the job done with full-time Arsenal 7, Liverpool 3. Looks like it's time to see the... Uh, Highlights and it's actually going to be starting with the 57th minute from Mo Salah. So it's actually kind of like same thing. It doesn't actually matter because uh, if this was first half, Liverpool and Arsenal would have actually been neck and neck. But then in the second half, Arsenal just ran away with the with with the lead. I would say just did a runaway shootout. I would say. But then it was Arsenal pile pile goals after goals. Zinchenko came from substitution. And scored the goal to put Arsenal in front. Well, they're already in front. But they just wanted to try to embarrass Liverpool for what Liverpool did to them a few years ago. And Jesus was very close in scoring the hat-trick, but just not his day. He anyway did score a brace, so it was kind of acceptable. And fair point from him. But yeah. Arsenal 7, Liverpool 3. And looks like we're going to take a look at the post-match interview. Can I ask you a couple of questions? It looks like Arteta will be happy about this performance because wow they needed it. Did Martinelli's hat trick surprise you? Alright, that's kinda glitched for a second. That ended up being a very comfortable 90 minutes for your team. Very impressive, but were you surprised it wasn't a more difficult game? I didn't expect to win by that kind of margin, but the players were outstanding today against Liverpool. They won their individual battles, created chance, and we were ruthless up front. Very pleased. But in that up, that first question, up against Liverpool again, your team was able to turn things around pretty spectacularly. Great win. What did you do differently today? But yeah, in that first question, Martinelli was, you know, he was, he loves football pretty well. So that's the reason why he scored the hat-trick and he got that mojo back. I think we have good characters here in Liverpool and I don't know what he said that we were disappointed. It's kind of glitched there, but I'm pretty sure he might have said it for the past few Thanks years. Very much for speaking to us. But anyway, that's our big game done. A win against Liverpool was exactly what we needed. So now we're at 41 points. We're still at third place though. 
But looks like we're actually going to advance. And our next game is against West Ham United. And as you can see right here, there is no change. None of these sides made mistakes, so... Martinelli hits hat-trick in Arsenal's win. Arsenal triumph over Liverpool. And the next Premier League, I'm pretty sure it's a player of the month, is it? No, Arsenal take, take on Liverpool. That's just an old news. But let's take a look at the inbox. I'm pretty sure it's a transfer request for... No, actually. I think Kane and Tony's grateful. But now he's... He's kind of happy about this performance. But looks like uh, we are actually going to be using Taney again. Dis depends to see if Zinchenko is happy about this. Let's take a look at the team management. If Zinchenko is okay with it. Yeah, he's okay. So probably we're probably going to put Taney in. I know he's not that fit. But uh, apart from that, Gabriel and Saliba are also not fit. White is not fit. Saka is slightly okay. But yeah, I think against West Ham United, Declan Rice's former club. It's probably going to be a very interesting game. Carlo Fiore might actually be in action for this match. Along with Leonard Bernier, a 16-year-old. But Cedric might actually have the uh, rating. Or Tomiyasu. He might actually probably play as the starting 11. But Bernier will come in as a substitution here. But yeah, we're actually going to put Tierney in. So we can probably try to save him from losing. You know, moving away. We already did one with Partey, so we cannot do it with Taney again. So anyway, our next match is against West Ham United. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll be back for our next video. Goodbye. Hello guys, we're back, and just as we witnessed, Arsenal. I cannot believe what Arsenal just did there. They just triumphed over Liverpool, 7 goals to 3. It was a one-sided margin in the first half. Liverpool did try to bounce back in the second but Arsenal scored two goals without any failure. Martinelli scoring a hat-trick. Jesus scoring a brace. Odegaard scoring his goal as usual. And Zinchenko scoring that goal. He's probably happy now because he scored that goal. But what have we seen from Liverpool, man? I thought Liverpool was actually going to try to keep things even. But this has probably been one of the worst performances from Liverpool here. If you are a Liverpool fan. This is probably Liverpool's worst performance. So, I would probably be sad about that. Especially with Partey here. He's probably going to leave Arsenal to join Liverpool on Jan. So, this might actually be uh, something controversial. But if Partey actually joins Liverpool, he might probably have that art of revenge type of... Uh, he might plan that art of revenge on Arsenal. We don't know. So, this could be uh, kind of spicy when Liverpool tried to play us at Emirates, you know, once we get to that match. But anyway, a win is a win. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to like and subscribe. As some people have not watched my videos, I I'm not even getting some respectable views. So please, I really beg of you to please make sure to like and subscribe. And it really means a lot. But anyway, Arsenal's next match is against West Ham United and it's at Emirates. So it's going to be a very big game. Let's, what, can, if Arsenal can maintain the, this uh, winning streak, they could actually be challenging for the title. But anything can happen. So Man City and Aston Villa are on the hunt. So this could be anyone's game. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Brisbane 05 Blasty here. Signing off.